Good morning, everybody. It is, what is today, day four of my section hike. Uh, I slept pretty good last night. Uh, I was at Ed Garvey shelter. And uh, yeah, slept pretty good. There was a herd of deer that like passed through right next to my tent at one point. I assume it was deer. At one point I saw some red eyes looking right at me. I was gonna Google to see if deer have red eyes at night, but uh, there was another point at which I'm pretty sure I hallucinated this or dreamt it. Thought there was a bear at my tent, but I was like in and out of sleep slash consciousness uh, at that point, I think. I don't think there was really a bear. But uh, yeah, it was weird. I was chilly at some points. Other times I was sweating. Uh, I slept with my fleece liner still, but without my jacket. Uh, so I shed that from the last two nights. But I have a really easy day into town today. I'm going to Cross Trails Hostel, which is just north of the river before Harper's, heading south. Um, it's only like three miles or so, but I'm gonna do a little blue blaze to Weberton Cliffs today, um, since I got time. And uh, I have to get a shuttle into a town at some point this afternoon or tonight to do a little resupply, because it turns out Harper's is not a great place for resupply. Uh, Cross Trails has great reviews and everything, but uh, they don't have a resupply there. And I also don't think they have like food to buy from an honor system like a lot of hostels do. So I don't have dinner for tonight either. So I gotta get to a grocery store. They do have a kitchen, so I can just buy like a pizza or something and make that there tonight. Cause from what I understand, most restaurants in Harper's are closed on Tuesdays. Uh, and today's a Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my day. Tomorrow I will walk into Harper's. Um, it's like a mile and a half to two mile walk along the CNO trail across the bridge and then into the town of Harper's Ferry. I'll pop up to the ATC, register and get my yellow tag, which is exciting. And uh, yeah, tomorrow will be an exciting day too because my friend Heather uh, lives in Maryland. She's gonna drive up and meet me somewhere along the way tomorrow on my hike. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll check in with you guys a bit later. Bye. All right, so I see a blue blaze coming up. I think this might be the cutoff for Weberton Cliffs. Um, I'm already two miles in for the day, which doesn't feel like I've been hiking two miles, but that's good. Let's see what this says. Yeah, Weberton Cliffs, point two. Let's go check it out. Uh, since it's only nine o'clock, I will show you guys once I get there. I'm loving how green it's getting, especially the lower down I get. Um, 2.7 miles in now. Just did a really steep downhill. Um, can't imagine climbing that up northbound. Dang. At least there's switchbacks. But uh, yeah, I know it was like 3 point something to the road that I need to turn right on, um, keep tryst road or something like that. 
and then I turn right on that road and road walk like a mile and a half to the hostel. Apparently there's a shortcut up from the CNO trail to the hostel, but it's technically illegal because <laughs> you have to like cross the railroad tracks and then jump over, I think they're called Jersey walls from what I've gathered. Um, I'm guessing that's just like a retaining wall or barrier wall of sorts. And then it's a steep like climb up this hillside to the backyard of the hostel or something like that and yeah I'm a rule follower so like I don't really feel like crossing a railroad track and jumping a jersey wall so we're just gonna do the road walk So I caught up with the Ed Garvey shelter crew just before my road walk. So you can see the railroad is right here. So normally the trail cuts down along the other side of the railroad and walks along the other side of the railroad just down a little bit. And then obviously you have to hop that railroad, which by the way is a very active railroad. I heard trains all night last night, so I definitely don't want to uh, be hopping it. Uh, this road walk's a little sketch though, because there's not really a shoulder. And this looks like a blind curve, so I might pop to the other side of the road temporarily just so that a car can see me if it comes around this curve. But uh, yeah, I think it's like one and a half miles on this road till I get to the hostel. But it is a Tuesday morning, so hopefully there's not much traffic. People are probably at work. But uh, yeah, slightly uphill the whole way, I think, uh, the hostel owner said. So I'll check in when I get there. All right, bye. So this is Cross Trails Hostel that I'm coming up on right now. And I mean, my email said check-ins not till four, but I'm sure I could just hang out here nonetheless until my bunk's ready. But uh. Yeah. Not a bad road walk. There's a couple spots where if there was maybe a lot of traffic it would have been interesting, but 